See, normally, whenever there is, let me explain you the first point. Okay. I'm going to explain you the first point now. So your question is that what exactly this payment page system deliver transaction stands for? Yeah. Normally, for example, I'll give you a scenario. Let's say there is a transaction of payment happen between two different individuals, okay? From one country to another country and all that. So when there is a, any kind of payment processing, generally we usually do, this is where generally we use this SEPA transaction system even it can be a P4 solution and all. So normally a platform, P27 platform or P4 platform. End of the day, SEPA transaction system is what something we need to be used with. So whenever we are using the SEPA transaction system, whatever the payment page are we creating or the whatever the payment page, as far as the payment is concerned, happened or the transaction happening between two different parties, there must be some authenticity of features has to be enabled or should be accepted. Why? Because whenever we are transact, do the transaction of the payments and all everything, whatever the signatures being used, because signature must be authenticated and authorized. That is point number one. At the same time, another person, whoever the other end person will receive an SMS. So based on the receiver, whatever the receiving, either it can be through whatever the message code I'm talking about. This message code either through SMS or email system, whatever the message code they have given, that message code will be used for them to process the payment successfully, especially whenever we are working on the payment page. This is what something which the first feature is called as. Do you understand this? Clear? It's okay, yeah. Clear or not? At a point, the, the line was breaking, so I didn't hear it. But when you started explaining from the beginning, the line was breaking. Kind See, of, but... payment page is very simple, uh, Victor. For example, there is a there is a transaction happen between two different system, two different individuals, okay, or two different people. Mm -hmm. So when there is any kind of payment transaction, are we doing through SEPA transaction system? Even though a payment to P twenty seven platform are we using or P four platform? Whenever the SEPA transaction process happens. Whenever there is any kind of payment page we have created for the online transactions and all, there must be an enabling of features for signature and as well as SMS and email system has to be enabled. Because this may be, this majorly used for them to authenticate and authorized. Because whenever, whenever there is a, any kind of payment was made, there is a code number that will be received by the other end person. Using that code number, whatever the code number was generated, if they have given that code number, automatically the payment transactions will become successful. That is what the first feature, which is called payment page. Is it clear now? Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's clear. It's very clear now, yeah. Continue. Next question. Yeah, continue from the second point, yeah. Go ahead. Text your, text, yeah. text your question. Yeah, continue, continue with the second point. Point if you can explain the second, that's the bank. File. Ah, okay. It's coming file back generation. to the second point. What is bank file generating? Bank file generating means when there is any kind of transaction normally we do, see, whatever the file formats, last time also I told you sometime back, when there is any kind of file format of payment files or whatever the file transfers normally we do, there are two different file formats we follow normally. So one is XML file format, second is JSON file format. Especially whenever we are working on uh, payments applications and all, normally the file format will be in the form of XML data because, uh, because XML data file formats will be there. Through XML data file formats, this is because this is a standard banking specific format uses when we are going to do any kind of transfers and all. So when there is any kind of transfer happened between two different parties, there is some bank file generating because through bank to bank, this generally this file generation will happen. This file generation will happen through a file format called XML data, XML file format. Because XML file format, nothing to do with any format changes. For example, I am sending a document, for example. Okay, bank, bank file I am sending through Word document or something. For example, I am saying. Other end person is using a different file system. What will happen? Automatically, whatever the data I have forwarded will be converted into the ANSI code. Okay, because actual data can't be seen by the person. 
because of the operational system or whatever the infrastructure or the end system you are using. In spite of it, in order to reduce that complexity, what we are doing, we are simply using XML data so that when, when a person is using an XML files and all everything, that XML data can be seen here. So if you want to see that XML data over here, there is some integration which has to be done here. I'll show you. 